Good morning, Manchester. It is Tuesday. It is around... Oh, I don't have my watch on me. <laughs> it's 20 past eight, and I'm going to be heading out in the rain. Recently, I've been doing a couple videos of showing Manchester in the sun, some, like, cinematic kind of people-watching vibes, and my girlfriend said it's false advertising because it does rain a lot, and today it is chucking it down until about half 10, 11. So I've got about two and a bit hours and I'm gonna take my gear out in the rain and we're gonna see what we get. So I'll join you in the rain. You join me inside an arcade, I think that's what it's called. So I'm here to talk about what gear I'm gonna be using in this video. So I'll probably cut to the video after this just so it kind of makes a bit more sense. So I'm shooting on my Sony A7 Mark IV, which is my video camera. In my last video I said I've got two of these. They're both set up the exact same. And then I've got a 70 to 200 on. So I'm aiming for these types of videos uh, with the kind of people watching, quite compressed look. Also means I don't have to get too close, which is ideal because it is a bit awkward even doing this. Someone walked past and I was there like, hi. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at this and trying to not overthink that. Anyway, let me, let me clip this off. That's better. Oh, look at that. Anyway, I've got my 70 to 200 millimeter. This is the F2.8 G Master Mark II. Absolutely love this lens. This for photos is absolutely incredible. And for video, it's so, so good. I've only really recently started doing video a bit more properly and kind of spending a bit more time on it. So trying this out is great. So I've got the lens hood on, which normally you'd think like, why do you need the lens hood on? You know, whatever, it's video. But it was raining and the plan was to do a video as you can see the fit. Well, let me got a rainy day fit the uh, the dickies on with the with the work boots and the uh, and the raincoat tog 24 yeah yeah come on but yeah so normally obviously if you're shooting video and it's bright you want ND filters on so I've got a pro mist quarter filter on this at the moment but my ND filters are 82 millimeters so I have to use a step up ring which means the lens hood wouldn't go on and I want to avoid rain on the glass. Uh, this is a weather sealed camera, so I feel fine using it in the rain. This camera I'm shooting on at the moment is actually not. So it's got a little, a little like hood on it, but I've got just like a microfiber, like big cloth. This is more of like a rain cloth rather than actually for the glass, but it didn't, it's not actually raining, which is kind of ironic, but also good for the video. I'm gonna go out, keep on shooting. I'm gonna plug you in. I'm doing all of this for practice for Paris in two weeks. I'm there for a full day by myself. So I've got a whole day just filming, taking photos, doing whatever. But anyway, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Today wasn't quite the scenes that I was hoping to get with my camera. I don't know, it stopped raining, not many people are out, and I've got some photos to edit. So my plan is to just go home, go to like a workspace, and then I'm just gonna edit the photos, see what clips I did get. This was actually a test just to see if it's something that's possible. I wanted to make sure my settings are all good and everything's all set up before I go to France, because like I said, I've got a day in Paris where I'm gonna be doing these videos and taking some photos. So I don't want to like mess up the video, but yeah, we're gonna head home I'm gonna try and see if there's clips that I do have that I can use if not oh, I might come out another day. I think it's meant to be raining tomorrow I do want to come out when it's actually torrential downpour But I can't take this camera out because it's not waterproof. Hopefully it's kind of interesting But I'm gonna keep the vlog going so I'm gonna put you guys in my pocket. I'll join you at home Just before I go for a coffee. I am back home. I am with my laptop um that's Amazon. I'm not actually trying to buy something. I'm trying to return something. I'm just putting the video footage into my laptop. I'm gonna make myself some lunch and then I'm gonna take you guys to the workspace. set up 
my laptop ready to go in what I would essentially call uh, a garden. There's some nice plants behind me. There's even more over in this corner here. I'm set up. I'm going to edit the pictures from a food fact shoot I did for VIA, one of the clubs I work for. Did the shoot about two weeks ago, uh, but they just sent me the edit selections for all the pictures that they want using. So I need to go through, select all of those in the Lightroom catalog, and then I'll kind of get get to editing. I filmed a little bit of uh, video. I kind of put this camera up uh, on the table as I was taking a bunch of the pictures. So I'm going to cut to now a few clips from it, then I'll join you back uh, once I've edited a few pictures. So enjoy that section. So I'm here doing the food shoot. I've got a uh, lantern, which I've never used before. That's the thing I hired with the continuous light. We've got my A74 with the 16 to 35, tethered into Lightroom so you can see the images. That's pretty much it. Quite, quite a standard little setup, but it works. Last summer, I was taking photos at Kendall Cooley. My friend in the Go they took me there as a photographer, and then I got a photo pass for the whole weekend. But um, the YouTube channel just released Rick Ashley's full like live performance, and it's funny because there's like small glimpses of me. So I'll show you here. Um, I won't play the audio because it's coming out my headphones. But if you look over here, oh, there I am. Ooh. Ooh, there we are. <laughs> Look at me there. Yeah, Kendall Court was amazing. I hope they're going again this year and board masters, but we shall see. It's the first week of August. Um, I really want to be there again. That's the plan. And oh, the vlog. Ship's kiss. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, since I'm watching this, here are some of the pictures during his performance. work that I want to do more of but but anyway right <laughs> back to editing I need to um, I need to stop watching the rest of the I'm actually just watching it and then we're gonna give you up. This is me there. <laughs> you so I hope you guys oh look at that dog I'm currently editing but we can't see me <laughs> Just editing the pictures now. What I'm doing is I'm just going through, I'm kind of checking the background, any bits on the side that I think need cleaning up, any slight crumbs and all of that kind of jazz. And then when we're in Lightroom, I'm gonna be doing kind of all the color, the exposure editing, and then that's kind of it done. I've got a couple of days to do these, so I'm just trying to get as much done as possible. And then I wanna edit some of this vlog. However, what I did notice is the F TV video that I did, I needed to put the ND filter on. So I, I'm gonna probably go out tomorrow morning and try again. I didn't get enough clips for a video, at least the way I intended. But um, open and honesty in the vlog. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna try again tomorrow and we'll see. But I think, I think it can work. I'm just trying to get the settings right. Uh, it's a bit too bright, a bit too, uh, you know, you'll would, you would see, because I'll only put short clips in it. I can, uh, look, I can move it around from here. Maybe not over to them. But yeah, look. Ooh. Look at this. Oh, I think I can even zoom in. How do I zoom in? Can you not zoom in whilst I'm... Oh, look at that. Uh, I do want it to be proper chucking it down with rain and it's a bit bright, but I've got the ND filter. The ND filter's in here and I've got a circular polarizer, which makes the image a bit darker, so I might actually use that instead. So I'm still working out the settings, but I'm gonna keep munching on. Well, there's not really much of this apple left. <laughs> it's gonna keep munching away. Keep editing away, and we'll see. I um, probably won't feel much else today, so I'll probably catch you tomorrow when I try again. Fingers crossed. Hello, and welcome to Wednesday. It is day two of me trying to film some videos out in the rain. It is actually raining today, which definitely helped. Instead of bringing out the Sony, I've got my Fujifilm X100V. So I plan on doing two videos because I kind of missed a week of vlogging. So I need to kind of catch up a little bit. I need to do two videos this week so I have something to actually post next week. And then I can kind of have like a week like in between the schedules, which would be ideal. So yeah, I'm going to be shooting all black and white on my... Oh, 
Fucking hell, it's bloody chucking it down. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to be shooting all black and white on this because it's a grey day. So there's not really going to be anything colourful. There's no point trying to get any colour stuff. But um, So we're going to give that a go. I'm going to strap you to my chest. And hopefully this camera keeps on rolling. But we'll see. Yeah, so it'll be a separate video where all of the photos are. I'll probably put a couple of them in. But for the most part, we are just going to see what I get for a point of view. And I'll catch you probably somewhere out of the rain. Because, yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to get bloody soaking wet. Hello. So I've taken a little break in one of my favourite cafes in the city. Well, they closed one of my favourite cafes, but this is oh, amazing. Thanks so much. Got my latte. Um, they closed one of my favourite cafes. It's over in Anko's, but it's the same coffee shop. The coffee is delicious. So wait, here we are. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Nice. So I just thought I'd um, sit down. Oh, I don't want this. I don't want this face tracking. I thought I'd just sit down with a coffee, get out of the rain for a minute during the shoot. It's going pretty well. It's actually my first time doing a street point of view video. I love taking street photos with my X100V. It is just amazing. The film simulation that I'm actually using is, I can tell you, it is a slight change from the simulation Kodak Tri-X 400. So I'll put up here the actual recipe that I'm using. I always do tweaks after in Lightroom, just like small things, exposure, highlights, maybe a bit of clarity, but it really depends. Um, I haven't had a look at any of the pictures yet, so we're gonna sort of see how, how they actually look. But yeah, it seems to be turning out pretty good. Uh, the Osmo Pocket 3 with this little rain hood, unreal. I've never actually done one of these point of view videos in the street with the Osmo Pocket 3 properly. Like I said in earlier on in the vlog, I was trying, but you know, it didn't quite really work. I think there's gonna still be the bobbing, but I think I've tried to minimize as much as you actually can. Hopefully the quality looks good. If people are interested, I'll share my settings. If there's my pocket through, I could do like a whole video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import these pictures from my Fuji. Just have a look at my phone, see what we've got. Kind of highlight a few favorites, because then when I get home, I'll put them actually into Lightroom and I'll start editing them properly. I mean, that just the JPEG, so they're kind of already edited. But like I said, basic exposure. One thing I'd like to add is I always, this is a recent thing I say always. I've had this camera for like a year and a half or something. Um, it's actually my second one. Whole nother story. I used to have a silver one, got stolen. Anyway, so I've recently been doing is removing the grain from the simulation just so I can do noise control later and then add the grain. I don't know if that's going to be good or not, but uh, Lightroom grain is all right. I know people all Fujifilm grain, all this and that. Shut up. It's going well. I'm going to drink my coffee, have a look at the photos, and I'll catch you in a bit. If it stops raining, I might stop vlogging a bit outside, but um, if not, I might see you at home. Thank you.